That's right, Stacy. And this theater was built in 1939. And although the new owner didn't attend here until decades later, it was nostalgia that drew him to it. The gleaming marquee that once welcomed guests now looks worn and forgotten. The flashing lights from the showtimes of old are now off, if not broken. And the theater that held decades of performances is currently a hazard. But Connor Delaney is hoping to restore the theater as close as possible to how it looked in 1940. Very nostalgic for me. Grandmother and I came quite a bit in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, saw the Velveteen Rabbit here in about 88, Peter Pan. And then very nostalgic for my family and friends. He's been trying to buy the theater for a long time. And now he's focused on a historical renovation that pays homage to what the theater used to be. It needs a roof on it and it needs stabilized immediately. And then, man, I'm confident the community will help, help to find the right use for it. While Delaney has the ambition, the community will also enjoy the benefit. It's been almost two decades since this was a working dinner theater. Lauren Koloff says a lot of people look forward to reliving those childhood memories. The Ingersoll Dinner Theater is an iconic piece of Des Moines and Ingersoll history, so we just couldn't be happier that is going to be preserved and restored to its original use of an arts and culture venue. Delaney hopes to have a new roof on by October. Inside, there is a lot more work that will need to be done. But here is how Delaney hopes it will eventually look, and he says it's worth it. It's much more than just another building. The building has had several different businesses in it over the years, but it has been empty since 2014. We're live tonight in Des Moines. Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.